Hello, my name is Stacy Williams. I am a student at UWA, of course, and I'm in the supervision and consultation school counseling class. Um, my presentation is dealing with the ASCA national model, and I'm going to tell you some important information about that model that we use. Okay, so before I get started, the target that um, we're looking at in this presentation is after you view my presentation, you will gain a better knowledge of the American School Council Association, also known as ASCA national model, and how to implement it in your counseling field. The purpose. The purpose of the ASCA model is to encourage school counseling programs to develop and support all students' success. To achieve this, ASCA a has created this model for school counseling programs. The first, um, in, the, in the school counseling program, the ASCA national model is broken up into four components. The first component is foundation. The second component is management. The third component is delivery. And the last component is accountability. So, before I get started into the national model, um, Here's a reference from our textbook that we're reading, our, our book that we're reading right now um, about consultation. Um, Dink Meyer, um, or Meyer, um, Carlson, and Michael, 2016 state, the American School Council Association, ASCA, National Model 2012, provides definitions of each term that help examine the relationship between uh, collaboration and consultation. What is the ASCA national model? So, like I stated earlier, we have four um, components of the ASCA national model, and in a few minutes, I'm going to go more in depth in each one of the um, components. So, foundation. Foundation is the first component that I'm going to talk about and discuss. So it says school counselors generate a comprehensive school counseling program that specializes on student results, teach students ability, and are delivered with identified professional abilities. And this is done um, in three categories. The first category, program focus. The second category, student competencies. And the last one, professional competencies. So the first one, uh, program focus. The first bullet that I want to discuss under program focus is identify personal belief. Identify personal beliefs is done when a school counselor uh, addresses students' benefits from the program. They use that by building on these beliefs and defining the future of the student outcomes. And lastly, go back, sorry. Lastly, um, the counselor create a mission statement. They create a mission statement that's um, aligned with the school mission's, uh, mission and define how both of those would be measured um, in the school counseling program. All right. The next one, student competencies. All right. The ASCA Mindsets and Behavior for Student Success K-12 College and Career Readiness for Every Student is broken down into three categories. And here are the three categories. Academic, Career, Social, Emotional, and Social Emotional Development, I'm sorry. Part three, equ uh, Professional Competencies, Equipments for of Counselors. All right, to ensure that counselors are equipped to meet the demands of professionalism, we have to be equipped. That means we have to be knowledgeable and to be, to be in the counseling career. So we have to know knowledge about our field and the ethical behavior, how uh, we have to know the laws and the ethics as it relates to the counseling field. Um, the ASCA ethical standards for school counseling ethic, ethical behaviors are necessary to maintain integrity, 